In this demo, I want to show you how to implement Azure Redis Cache using .NET C Sharp in your web application and when to upgrade your Azure service plan. Redis Cache is like bringing your service memory to the cloud and you can bring more information out from your database and keep it there as long as you want. So there's no pressure giving from the garbage collector to release those memory in case of memory shortage problem. So the more information you can bring from the database, meaning that you are having less requests from the database. And this gives you better performance in both the web server and the database server. But keep in mind that Redis Cache is a remote type of data structure. It is indeed slower than storing the data in the local memory. So you still need to keep logging details and site data that's going to be accessed in every page of your website in a local memory instead of Redis Cache. So in the first part of the video, I want to show you how to create the Redis cache service provided from Microsoft Azure. So here's how we're going to set up the Redis cache from Azure. So you can go to portal.azure.com and sign in to the Azure portal. So in order to create a new Redis cache, Please select the plus sign on the top left. Then select data storage. Then you select Redis cache from the list. And right here you can enter your domain names. Make sure the location is selected to the same location where your web application resided. For now, you can just select the C0 basic plan with 250 MB cache size. If you don't see your plan here, you can uh, click on the view all link on the top. You can click on the create button when you fill out all the information. Once the Redis cache is created, you can click on the show SS key link so you can obtain the information that you can use to connect to the Redis cache from your web application. I'm using Visual Studio program with C Sharp to do this demo project. I create a new project with ASP.NET web application template with .NET Framework 4.5, which I named it Demo Redis Cache. In this project, I create three folders, Common, Managers, Services. I will be using NuGet uh, Package Management to uh, get to NuGet package. Make sure you select online and the search term is stack exchange dot redis. As you can see, I already installed this tool uh, package. And once it's installed, you can start making your program. So in the web config files, make sure you have um, these four keys. You can put your uh, DNS name here the URL accessing to your Redis cache 
and your cache uh, access key in here so the first thing we want to do is to create two files in the common folder and I will be using uh, a generic list called uh, list fruit as my data type to demonstrate the process of saving and retrieving the data from Azure Redis cache service and I have these three properties for fruit then the second file I'm creating is a Redis cache class All the source codes showing here in the project are available in GitHub. I will be showing you the URL to obtain the source code on the screen. In the service folder, we create a file called cache service. In the manager folders, we create a cache manager. In this function, get through list from cache, we are um, going to save the list from the database into the cache, the Redis cache. So if the cache is exist in the Redis cache, we can just get the list from the cache in this way. We can also delete the fruit list from the cache in this function and finally this is the um, cache operation and the support functions and finally we have a test page where it will show the content of the list on the web page and I will also include a delete cache button to show that um, we can delete the cache as well and here's the code behind so we're getting the list from the cache manager and if the count is greater than zero then we um, bind it to the data source of the grid view and this is the method for uh, deleting uh, the cache for that button so how do you know when do you need to upgrade your Redis cache plan? There are many reasons that you might need to consider to upgrade your plan, such as the limit on the number of connections you can make to the cache, the cache size, and the speed of calling the cache, and finally the bandwidth. So by looking at the network bandwidth chart provided by Azure Portal, you can see the flat top when you reach the maximum cash recall limit. And there are different limits to the plan, as you can see from this table shown here. So I hope you find this Q&A video is helpful. If you have any comments, suggestions, or want to ask a question, please feel free to write it below. Behind every question, there's a struggle. If I can help you overcome, my time is worth spent. If you are new and want to be a developer, remember, never give up your dream easily because for every question you can answer, you are one step closer to your dream. Don't let one unanswered question stop you. Thank you for watching, please support this channel by subscribing and I will see you next time.